Howdy! AndroidPit.com is the world's largest Android website and it features hardware and app reviews and news and advice about, uh, about Android. I've done a very quick uh, heuristic evaluation of the site on my Nexus 5 phone. Um, a heuristic is a broad principle based on uh, best practices and academic research. And so a heuristic, for example, can be, and I'm reading uh, here, uh, if the interface uses metaphors, then the principle should be to choose metaphors that will enable users to instantly grasp the finest details of the conceptual model. So it's about how one chooses the uh, metaphor. So a heuristic evaluation is a review of an interface based on a set of these heuristics. Um, and heuristic evaluations are usually done in a group, uh, so maybe five evaluators or so, but the task here was for me to do it on my own, so that is what I have done. As my set of heuristics, I used the first principles of interaction design by Bruce Tognazzini, also known as Tog. Um, I could also have used the very classic uh, Jakob Nielsen heuristic, the 10 usability heuristics for user interface design, or even the Android design principles or the principles governing the material design uh, language. Heuristic evaluations are a tool to find problems in an interface, so this review will feel quite negative. But only from problems can there be progress. Um, in the evaluation, I gave each problem that I found a rating based on a scale that Nielsen took, uh, created, where the first level uh, is a cosmetic problem, the second is a minor problem, the third is a major problem, and then the fourth is a catastrophe. I found no catastrophes in the androidpit.com review, uh, but I found some minor and major problems. And the major problems I will discuss in this video, the minor ones you can read up on in the text. So, when I opened the site for the first time on the Nexus, uh, I am presented with four areas of content. We have the header uh, with the menu, which takes up about 10% of the visible area. We then have a banner to download something to win Samsung gear, which takes up about 20%. We have the content, which is about 30% of the area, and then cookie info, which is about 30% of the area, and I know that it doesn't actually constitute 100%, but they are averages. So the problem with that is the, that there is too little attention given to the actual content of the site and the principle um, that that is based on is uh, simplicity and progressive revelation and I give this a severity uh, as a major issue and uh, some ideas to solve this is to um, is that the download banner this Samsung gear thing it could be presented once the visitor has become accustomed to the site that is after about five paid views maybe or even the second time that the person is uh, on the site so in the second session uh, and I have a feeling that this might even increase uh, conversion since it will then be something new that uh, the user has not seen before the visitor has not seen before I'm very aware of the EU directive on, directive on cookie consent uh, I do believe however that one can find a solution for presenting the cookie info uh, that doesn't cause this 30% um, of the initial screen problem. So there is a list of something under the first two news stories uh, on the site. Uh, and the problem here is that this list is clearly something else than the news items. Uh, but what are they? What is this list? Uh, the list can also not be swiped, uh, so it seems like it's broken and the icons are, are blurry. Um, the list is not visually consistent with the rest of the page with the news items, which can be okay, but uh, it actually is so that one can click on, the, uh, on these icons and then end up on the page. But the list is not visually consistent with that page either. Um, and to me, it took a while to figure out that they were clickable, 
uh, because they do not communicate to me that uh, that that is the case that they are clickable it might be that they do communicate that to other people so that could be usability tested uh, so the principles here are aesthetics uh, efficiency and simplicity and uh, and I, I see this as a major issue an idea to solve this is that on this page that uh, a click leads to uh, there is actually a very very similar uh, list of uh, of app icons but it doesn't have any of the problems that I spoke about so just take that and insert it on the front page and this problem is solved so the uh, news items on androidpit.com have an image attached uh, the images are often of a hand holding an android device like so uh, the problems here are that the images are too small to be able to see what is actually displayed on the screen of the device and so they don't actually help me to decide if I want to read the article or not. Since the images are so alike, many of them, they also don't help me remember which articles I've already seen and decided to read or not read. Uh, and the principles here are to keep state and, uh, and efficiency. Some ideas to help solve this issue is, uh, first of all, to, that this, to, to work with the editorial team because this is an editorial issue and so it needs to be handled with the editorial team. These images of uh, hands holding devices could also be um, used only for hardware um, articles, for example, and you can explore other kinds of images to use for, for software articles. When one swipes to the bottom of the list of news um, on AndroidPit.com, there is a button which states more news dot dot dot. Um, and the problem with this is that even though it looks like a button, this is actually a link to a different page. And when I click on the link, I don't see more news. Rather, I see the featured news that I've already seen at the top of the page. So the principle here is consistency and some ideas to solve this issue is uh, first of all that clicking on the more news button can load new articles in line. So just uh, fill the page, uh, which is very common. If you need to send the person to a new page, you could either skip displaying these um, featured uh, news articles or you could automatically scroll past them. Uh, when uh, loading the page so that the p person sees the list of articles that are actually new to them.